three, two, one. Okay, and we're back. And uh, yeah, things did not go as planned because we're in the next bloody week at the very least. Yeah. Uh, short story. Uh, sleep schedule completely fucked. But anyways, let's continue on then. We still have about an hour to go on this. Let me know when coast is clear. Right and yeah, this is a game. Uh, <laughs> we expected him to head out on his own, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Also, sending him to a neck. What's going to happen here is that he he hops cautious from hiding spot to hiding spot, and enemies can spawn on each of those. Really? Okay. Uh, yeah, basically this was me looking around where the fuck he is. Yeah. Hey, where are you going? Your pilot is still And, yeah, Santa making it known uh, that he's still no? <laughs> in there. Which is a nice thing they added that instead of, well, letting you walk out and completely miss things. And yeah. yeah, the the marker of where he was didn't change, though. Yeah, and also a reminder, since we speak via doing, commenting over this, whenever my icon flashes, that's the past me speaking, when Helian yeah. was muted for two hours. <laughs> and yeah, he, he just jumps from spot to spot. Luckily, these idiots aren't too accurate. Uh, I, I'm guessing he can get killed if you don't get rid of them uh, soon enough, but he, yeah, they go easily enough. Oh yeah, and I looked up this game in a review. Luckily, it did not spoil what Omega is. However, people okay. love this game, and apparently, this chapter is is one of everyone's favorite. Yeah, it it is a it is a nice change of pace. It just doing prep work before your actual big heist and such. It's the Calcutta level that uh, is despised, apparently, especially the part where, well, the pre <laughs> the last recording, the last stream that we actually recorded after this, uh, at the moment. Uh, yeah, that, that's apparently the most despised part because of, yeah, inconsistent stealth fight features and such. Yeah, and also, this, this chapter and the Calcutta Lula one are the two longest levels. Okay. Most games. And yeah, just me being a loot goblin again and stealing yeah. everything. But not... I have no clue what we were talking yeah. about here. I look uh, at the I want to can he just climb through it? <laughs> it could technically, yeah, but no animation for that. So just unlock gate. Thank you. I'll wait at Dodger. Also, isn't the Dodger at like opposite direction or something or actually it's to the east, so he is in heading in the general direction. I did not know that. I only I only knew that it as a car brand. Yeah. Also, sorry if I'm yawning because, well, like I said, fucked sleep schedule. I've, I've hardly had like, I've hardly like two or four hours of sleep each day or so. Yeah, you have horrible work hours, and you're being woken up, up several times by what was it that like garage alarm? Yep. For some reason, the alarm in there keeps going off, and if it's, it goes off. One more time, I'm just chucking that fucking sensor into the nearest pond. Yeah, is it, is it always the same time it goes off? Not the same time, but it is the same one. Yes. Oh. And again, enemies ducking for cover, or just ducking to the ground for cover. Oh yeah, I don't think you use codes for these. I... Oh yeah, we, we talked about that... Uh... You don't use Scooby, you have the, si the little line on top is the sight on this rifle. Yeah. That little thing yeah, just behind, just in front of Kate's hand. 
Yeah. yeah, the iron side would be the what's at the actual end of the barrel. The yeah, thing before us were. I was trying to make its name there, but yeah, it, it, it is. It, uh, what the heck? Just yeah. happened? Uh, that was the explosions going off. <clears throat> Wait. Man, the, the, the thing at the middle. Uh, the thing at the middle is more of a range finder or something, I believe, or for more long range firing. Not that the yeah, AK forty seven would be too well for that. Yeah, you can apparently adjust it for extremely high altitude. So people wonder, do you really need to do it it that much? Hmm. Can't really say. And yeah, this was me trying to just go around the edge, but no, we. We have to take the road a bit towards the jump. I can't and... believe I'm seeing this. I, 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 of all vehicles I trust killing with is probably maybe only the longboat. <laughs> uh, speaking of longboats, Valheim has uh, announced when the new uh, when the new update or the new uh, expansive update will be releasing or is planned to. Yeah. The, the test one is active now, as of this video. So whenever this video is posted, probably all of the release uh, officially. I'm still nervous whenever you drive something. <laughs> Except for a longboat, apparently. And also here I was just being stupid on this bit, because, yeah, very clear what we actually should be doing, even though... Very clearly, we, we, we we're jumping from a low point to a high point, so it doesn't make full sense. But yeah, we're supposed to go across towards the cabin or go down towards the power station. And yeah, because of the height difference, I thought we had to get off. And uh, well, you'll see what happens in a second here. Oh dear. Also, I forgot to do it. Actually, did I... Did I do a quick save or not? No, we are we are beat for something. I'm not sure why. Oh, uh, I, I think you need to go to the bathroom or something. Okay. And let's see. That's about where I returned. Uh. I, I do try to, well, get stuff done before streams, but sometimes, yeah, just <laughs> biology being a bitch. And your nieces were lovely, by the way. Oh, yeah. The, uh, yeah, yeah. That's what happens when you try to drop down. Uh, when I was recording this, uh, it was actually my father's birthday, so we had family over, including, well, uh, the, the daughters of my niece. Uh, yeah, this was the last save. Uh, yeah, we, we introduced the two of them. Uh, they're not twins, they're just different ages. Uh, I forget specifically how old, but in the single digits at the very least. And uh, yeah, they, <laughs> they were of course very interested in the cats, and the cats were not interested in them at all. Though one of them was after I handed them the, br uh, the brush that we use on them every now and then. You know that apologize, it happens like but you see me on rare occasion having to uh, run to the bathroom. Yeah. Just in for just needing to go or did not get a chance to do go before we start. Uh but yeah, they they are a cute pair. <clears throat> I oh. actually think yeah, that was the first time I ever, I ever saw them. Yeah, yeah, just remember, next time you see them, to teach them how to be nice to cats properly. Yeah. They're, like I said, one of them did like them when <laughs> when they were using the brush. <laughs> but yeah, like kids tend to be, they just uh, yeah react very strongly. <clears throat> And that uh, drives the game off. Games or games you... 
was supposed to do that and how people get infuriated on it so they just make it all right we're gonna do this is cool but people are not gonna get stuck on this damn thing yeah uh, we were talking about the let, let me pause a bit we were talking about the rather obvious push that the game gives you when you do those jumps which uh, yeah it, it does it does break the immersion a little bit because you're very obviously getting a push in the back but on the other end it does ensure that well you don't just plummet to your death if you don't have enough speed yeah for there's many games that's done that that is supposed to be the coolest but end up being the most a very hated area of a game due to how poorly it was implemented Anyways, Agent Arthur, please find the supplies our agent left for you. Uh, when you've completed your objective, return here and radio headquarters. You'll want to wait for the dark, for dark before proceeding to the military compound. And yeah, this is where we're supposed to find the sniper rifle first, or supposedly because we found it at the radio tower itself. And uh, yeah, I overlooked it at first. We also got this the angry kitty <laughs> what uh, yeah what that is is it's basically a landmine that right. seeks out yeah the, i think it is at least it's more useful than the angry dog in the last game it, yeah <laughs> it looks like mr evil's cat I, I specifically brought it out to try and get better lighting on it but Wait. not much <laughs> Uh, this thing looks so bloody evil. But yeah, basically you put it down and when an enemy gets near, it goes after them. Though it doesn't have that big of a reach uh, and a detection range from what I, I, we found out. Yeah, apparently it's meant to use as a trap for patrollers. Like you see someone patrolling, you put it near the patrol path where you know it has the range to ambush them. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like one of those mechanical pets you could get in the 90s. Yeah, no. Oh, no. I mean, I know the... why it's in the game. Man, this is the least. It was just stopped. Speaking of the devil. Cat toys like that one. The mechanical it devil. On driving parents insane. I think it was the same time that Furbies became popular. I say popular, I probably more infamous. Yeah, and also there's more. Oh. This model was already around in the... What was it around? 1400s? <laughs> okay. Uh, more cruder version, though. <laughs> I think it was a clockwork lion, and yes, it looked ugly as heck. But I sort of made a working clockwork lion around that time for uh, one of the kings of king of the Ro whole Roman Empire, I think. I'm not sure. I had to look it up again sometime, but it's an ugly thing. And it only could walk. That's it. Wait, doesn't it look like one of your cats? <laughs> Uh, no, it does not. <laughs> we, uh, we don't have a <laughs> a red cat like, well, a red purple cat like that. Uh, speaking of cats, uh, In uh, Inky for some reason has really taken to just sleeping on my mouse mat. <laughs> and yeah. You can guess why he's running away. He's going to alert his comrades who are actually around the rock there. I feel my mouse pad here is a big one meter long. I don't know why. But hey, I got it for free. But still, I can't see why a cat would like them. Yeah, I, I've put up a few photos of it on the Discord server. And see, we. <laughs> She really just wants to lay against or over my arm, which makes it a bit difficult to move the mouse. And yes, she has knocked the mouse off of the desk at least once now. Of course. Hmm. 
And yeah, I, I've even tried blocking her approach to getting on, but she just worms her way around them. <laughs> no idea why it said ew at the moment, therefore. We'll activate it. Yeah, the toothbrush. Well, uh, yeah, I suspect, uh, I suspect I uh, suspect we're going to end up with a few streams where, yeah, my <laughs> ability to play is a bit immobilized as a cat. We did actually find out that they they do. Uh, also, yes, of course, the button is there. Uh, they do actually read the damn paperwork because we found at least one piece that got sent back because it wasn't uh, filled in correctly or completely. And yeah, I was trying to use the cats and failing to use the cats. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Again, just it, I was just trying to test out it, what its detection range was, and yeah, apparently not that long, really. Well, I think. It, oh, I see what happened. He ran away outside its range before it, it, uh, you put it down. And then they ran into range whilst we were looking away. <laughs> yeah, if, if he had meant to attack you right away over there, he would run into it. But he went to get the others instead. Which is good AI for a stealth game. Now, again, the, the AI is pretty impressive in this game, even if, well, a lot of the times they just charge at you blindly. Yeah, yeah, many still love this game. But many I do agree that Calcutta one is not the best, and they really need to work on this. If they get the remaster, it needs to fix this stealth si system. Yeah. For apparently, it's good to level it up. Just yeah, there won't be you pointed out many times that he just spot you. He must rest and fall asleep. And uh, yeah, just don't electrocute yourself to fall asleep. Please don't. <laughs> uh, new, <laughs> new best line trick here, 2022. What? No, you talking about don't electrocute yourself to fall asleep. <laughs> and, yeah, that's just a lock that fell into the box. For some reason, oh. we're missing the lights. Or for. <laughs> Well, Don't Ilya, ask me why. Do you do you disagree with me, my statement? <laughs> uh, well, it would knock you out with enough volts, but it would also hurt like bloody hell. Well, it would not actually be proper sleep, even. Yeah. Wait. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the bloody bananas. They do actually work, but they have a very small. Just. We were on the side, on the side of the wall when it started to ex explode. Talk about the kitty a bit, and yeah, yeah. For some reason, we didn't have the light in this in this one. Yeah, I just remember. Does the bananas get affected by the gadget upgrades? Uh, probably not. The gadgets are more the stuff to break locks and such. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, just another random spy manual. Yeah, uh, by the way, you, you did finish that off screen, did you? The rule. Part of you made one of our stream of this game one hour shorter. Uh, yeah, I, I completed that off screen, where at least I, I did it and put a save after it. Where, a save after where we ended up and yeah, random explosions there. So that is that frustration is going to be dodged the next time we will be recording, uh, <clears throat> or we'll be streaming the game again. 
which will be the fifth stream total, I believe. Yeah. Also, I still just love how the you know, this, the gadgets in this game are a bit more realistic, but it does it does hurt a bit with just how few gadgets and stuff there are. Yeah, since the disc it did take a bit more shooter role, and I guess it, it, uh, the guy I was reviewing this game did re a review of the spin off game that everyone hates, and I guess it why. For the a straight up shooter, a poorly shooter even. Yeah. Uh, I looked things up a bit more on it, and apparently the reason they made that. It was flipped near you enter it. And yeah, this... I planned to make a joke of it, and I suddenly forgot. Uh, talking about the flip table, and debating whether it was flipped already or if the AI flipped it, we we didn't see, so we can't really tell. But yeah, the, the reason that Contract Jack was made was that the main team was working on a new engine. I think one of them might have flipped it, then exited the build to attack you. And yeah, whilst the, whilst the main team was working on ma making the new engine, they basically told whoever was left to, well, make uh, Contract uh, contract Jack. And uh, yeah, they did not do a good job at that. Yeah. So it makes me wonder, did they even get the chance? Wait, wait, they still still make games, don't they? Yeah, they, they, <laughs> they made Shadow of War and Shadow of Mordor. I'm not sure what they're right. currently working on. Oh, good question, but yeah, I guess sudden of that spin-off was somebody actually accidentally killed it for the, the franchise. franchise. Yeah. Okay. Uh, to General Zuko from Klaus. Blindside is proceeding on schedule. Of all our illustrious operations against the main adversary, none has ever been as bold or ambitious as this, nor is guaranteed to succeed after as to secure such absolute victory for the Soviet Union and total humiliation for our enemies. As your report again once I've made contact with Mr. Big and outlined our proposal. I'm sure he must be most receptive to our generous offer. And with that, I'll go look up Monolith Studios. You did that, then go and go and grab a chocolate. Okay. Monolith Studios. Currently Monolith Productions, okay. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Subsidiary of Warner Bros. Interactive since 2004. I think I know who Mr. Big is. Yeah, like, have you seen the thing you eat and drink from? Okay, let's see. Their first game. Ronald, oh. I seen commercials about hockey and football player trading cards. Uh, yeah, that, that was a bit of talk about uh, <laughs> the hockey player cards we found. Uh, let's see. Top secret anti-sabotage report. Comrade Karpov, after respecting your facility, I would conclude that the only serious threat of sabotage you face would arise from a demolition charge placed inside the access panel between the two main generators. Obviously, the likelihood that an accident capitalist spy would recognize this opportunity is non virtually non-existent. I need hardly mention that this report should be kept under lock and key. Corp <laughs> Corporal Butsenko. And, uh, yeah, 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 not really. <laughs> Why did they make a commercial about them now? <clears throat> Anyways, back to Monolith. Their first game was Blood, which is uh, a Doom-like shooter that was highly, pre uh, uh, highly appreciated at the time, and I believe still is. Also, the game Claw. I still would need to find that uh, i think uh i know of that game from a gaming magazine that i have one side on i think hmm. and yeah that was the one that was hiding before <laughs> i just gunned them down on reflex <laughs> oh poor uh, bastard 
Let's see. Aliens vs. Predator 2, No One Lives Forever, No One Lives Forever, Spy and Harm's Way, Drawn 2, which I believe is a pretty decent game. I, I remember playing at least a demo of that. Then there's Contract Jack, of course, Matrix Online, Fear, Condemned 1 and 2, Fear 2. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Okay, Shadow of War is the last of the games that they released five years ago in 2017. And they are currently working... Still a company? Yep. <laughs> well timed. They are currently working on a Wonder Woman game. I think we mentioned that before, but it, it doesn't have a set release date yet. Yeah, I'm a bit skeptical about Shadow of War games. Like, it surely looks fun, but I know they took... Extreme amount of liberty with this lore and story. Hmm. I think I I want to try. Uh, I've played the first Shadow of game through before, uh, you know, from the start to end. Don't think I 100 percent of that. And yeah, I, I kind of expected the entire building to blow up. <laughs> you and me both. Okay. What? The, wait. 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 Uh, let's take a look at the damage you did to the generators. Uh, yeah, with the way those things exploded, <laughs> there should be a few holes in the walls at least. Uh, but yeah, maybe one day we'll stream the Shadow of games. Okay. They'd likely be very long, though. There should be more damage to the building if they look like that. <laughs> but for the moment, we have plenty of games to already work through. So we'll just have to see, well, when things become available. Since after, once we're done with this game, we'll be moving on to Rayman Legends. I feel like it should have blown a hole at the back wall. And uh, yeah, after that, uh, let's see. I, uh -oh. I, I, I let Rom pick a spot to where to add in binary you know, domain, and I think it was before we'd get to uh, Indiana Jones and Tomb Raider, where we'd be alternating between those two franchises. Uh, yes. We won't be covering every single Tomb Raider game, more the <clears throat> some of the more modern games. AKA those that likely work still. Uh, yeah, basically we will be doing the second era of the Tomb Raider games. The first one, I'll put those as a maybe. Of the currently third era, I'd say at the very least I want to stream the first of the latest reboot. The other two I'm a bit more iffy on. The, the reason why I'm saying that is because... Uh, yeah, I just like yeah, the second I, and third a lot less. I would say six sack capability, but probably not for the if they use six sack, they probably be catch on and get ready to intercept you. And yeah, talking about how to well not approach a sniper. Also this guy is just in here randomly and completely whiffing a shot. <laughs> yeah, and I also want to I just picked up. It only helps for people who are learning the controls of a shooter game. And that was then? A rotten apple. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we we keep finding these dear John letters and that's a, that's a squished bunny. On a real sniper, worthless. If you do it to someone in a game, it may work until they realize... Uh, ...realize they just need to do some actual sniper trick to finally hit you. <clears throat> but uh yeah if you're being shot at by a sniper take bloody cover and try to well stay in cover and don't just run out into the open it's just going to get you ventilated yeah uh, wait ventilated <laughs> shot through yeah th that's a new term <laughs> but yeah with both the communications and and almost jumping onto the bloody roof. 
Yep. But With I, comms and I, power down, we're ready for the next. Oh dear. I, I, I heard the term ventilator before, just never in terms of shooting. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> okay. I had some other things planned for after the, uh, we do this, but I'm not sure if I'm a awake enough for it to try. Uh, let's see. After analyzing the American intelligence data, Unity is convinced that Project Omega is headquartered in the main records building at the center of the compound. Str uh, security will be tight, so it won't be easy to, for Kate to reach the targets. Title drop. Okay. Uh, we didn't manage to. Com we didn't complete the level. Uh, this level here. Uh, but we still have. Uh, let's see, twenty-three minutes to go. And yeah, I tried to go stealthy here, but well, you can <laughs> you can guess how that went. Hmm. <clears throat> And random AK-47 and a single bullet in it. Something just dawned on me. Hmm? This is insane what I'm about to say. The game you and me have been good at stealthing has been Valheim. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, oh, I think you want to read this. Uh, yeah, 400 heads of cabbage to be delivered within one week. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. There is something we're going to notice here, people, is whoever is in charge here loves cabbage soup? Or what's the super stew? Soup. Cabbage and soup. Way yeah, too for much. Also, for some reason, now we do have the light back. And uh, yeah, again, the AI is showing off a bit of its smarts that they will actually notice doors left open. So uh, yeah, so much for stealth, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, he has always been... Good. I don't know at all what I was talking about here. Come on. Probably a pun. <laughs> no more carrot soup. Have you spent time near the latrine? Have mercy on your fellow comrades. Uh, but yeah, here completely forgot what I was talking about uh, for most of this. It, it has been over a week yeah. at the very least well, now. It to that point with me uh, during the pandemic but i started to finally again get some variety in my meals yeah and meal variety i still just love this mis uh, mis <laughs> mascara box I, bl I believe that's the right pronunciation the mascara box taser it, it is kind of clever yeah, as much as I still prefer the first game, the gadgets uh, are a lot more realistically clever in this game so far. But there's also just a whole lot less of them. Yeah, this game is still good, but it improved a lot of things. However, the biggest issue is the stealth thing and the things you could get infuriated on are way worse. So they kind of overclouds the good stuff. Possible prisoners trying to escape and such? And yeah, trying to theorize on why the hell they have bear traps out here. And oh, yeah, just me loot gobblinging. And uh, yeah, rats. <laughs> Timing. Wait. Baby? Is that you? <laughs> I think I'm gonna uh, keep that as a catch, one of my catchphrases whenever I see a rat. Okay, uh, pause a moment. 
Agent Archer, the fuel depot that supplies the base is located in the outer yard near your current position. Sabotaging it will serve two purposes. First, it should create a rather dramatic diversion to help facilitate your exfiltration from the base. Second, it will cripple the base's operations until it can be repaired, which will benefit our upcoming covert missions in the vicinity. The timer on this explosive is set to detonate during your escape. And yeah, if you're wondering why the hell is this in the barracks, is because one of the soldiers actually found it and put it here. And apparently one that can't read English. Which does make sense. Uh, Kate has shown herself to be smart enough to, well, n know and remember a hell of a lot of stuff. So I wouldn't be surprised at all if she is multilingual as well. I would not be surprised. And yeah, the guy was just trying to investigate the sound of squeaking. And of course, there was the rat hiding underneath there. And we get body remover again. Now that we use it a lot. But the enemies used it a lot, weirdly enough. Yeah, which we'll find out in the next stream, actually. Because that's when truly the bodies will hit the floor. Oh no! Damn you, Hideon, damn you! <laughs> and, yeah, I've somehow spotted. Yeah, misunderstanding is so easy. Especially when it comes to uh, massive time zone gaps. Hmm. Uh, for those wondering, Hillian just made another song stuck in my head. <laughs> oh dear. Um. <clears throat> <coughs> Pardon? Uh, just how many people are going to that bloody concert or show, whatever? Was it not a mine, or was it that shipped? Uh, yeah, they're here not uh, knowing the oh, okay, sewage okay. connection. <laughs> you usually don't see the, that. Basically, you don't want to step on it. Russian cabbage soup. One, uh, one pound roast rump, one medium head shredded cabbage, one large onion, two tablespoons vinegar, one dove of garlic, two tablespoons sugar. In large pot, cover ingredients with cold water. Let's stand for one hour, boil three hours. What the heck, Indian? Hmm? It's a rump roast, and you flip the two woods and switch <laughs> between them. Uh, yeah. Not sure how if that would actually be a good uh, recipe, but at the very least, the Russians are more than sick of it. But they are fed it every day. And yeah, a little smartass tried to move around us. Uh, but then again, there's another alarm here somewhere over there, exactly. So yeah, of course, they set that off and spawn more of these bastards. Yeah, and this is also one... One of the e but this is a sort of thing that can make it more advisable to be sneaky. Problem is, it also make it harder to be sneaky due to after a while, yeah. the more NBCs will come anyway. At the same time, you keep triggering the alarm. <laughs> well, technically, they you. keep triggering it. But yeah, the, the game, it, <laughs> again, we fought through a good chunk of the original game as well. Also half eaten donut, why? But it seems even more leans towards combat in this game as well. Yeah, no, I think they had some good ideas for this stealth system, but it failed. Oh, wait. And yeah, there's uh, Sentai Tadpole showing up and about to inform us that uh, I'm bloody silent. So after that, uh, yeah, we'll just shut up. Uh, what? Uh, someone in the chat? 
Uh, dearest Sergei, thank you for your kind letter. Of course I forgive you. I understand that you were drunk. Besides, the scar tissue is hardly noticeable. I can't believe you got me three pairs of American blue jeans. I miss you so much. I must come visit at once. Uh, you're sure they're the right size? Oh, but how long? Uh, how I long to see you. I'm so excited. I've dreamed of blue jeans, Anya. And yeah, we <laughs> we more than likely killed off Sergei. Oh dear. And yeah, I believe he's about to <laughs> inform us any second now. But uh, yeah, I hope we don't have to do this too often. And yeah, there's the info. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to be uh, pissed off in a bit. Me checking OBS. What? And I, uh, yeah, I, I really hope we don't have to do post commentary like this too often because yeah, <laughs> neither of us is too good at it. <laughs> yeah, like we, we know this in the past, but we don't see it in good time, like five minutes in or something like that, or ten minutes in. But oh boy, almost at the yeah. end of the stream is a record. Yeah. Two hours and eight minutes in. Yeah. Uh, well, more two and three since five minutes pre stream, technically, but yeah, we're going to be triple checking if the bars are actually moving in future streams. Yeah, I, I, I should have noticed it earlier. I usually end up looking occasion on my voice since I has forgotten to record me at some point. Do we usually notice that quickly? But uh, yeah. Oh yeah, dear. For, for a bit for a bit of extra context there, I've I've said this multiple times before in other streams and such. Uh but I sc I screen share uh, OBS to Drakir so he also can see the uh, voice uh, the audio lines being well, active and such. But yeah, we both missed it. So Yeah. Yeah. Uh, most of the time yeah, I did occasionally check it, but then I stopped probably due to I feel like we, we had a hang with it and I stopped, just forgot. But yeah. Uh, anyways, though. Uh, yeah, enjoy me being annoyed in a short bit. And until next time then, when will we actually live again? Yep, we save everyone and pray for us this does not happen again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, that is an extremely unpleasant surprise. OBS reset the fucking microphone selection. So I've been chatting into nothing for, yeah, two hours. Either uh, that fucking or OBS. Or... It's either that or since you came back from bathroom. Uh, we didn't have someone pipe up before that, but... Yeah, it, it can't have been since that. Uh, why does OBS just keep pulling this fucking shit where it just resets things we don't want it to reset? Like, keep your fucking settings, OBS. Uh, I guess in part it is on us for not noticing, but really, you'd think it, it would manage to keep itself stable, like... Uh, yeah, and so. I, I, I... I should notice that. that I, I, thank you for telling us that. Right, I should probably. Yeah, I can see OBS here, and I didn't notice. Oh well. Uh, yeah. What to even? How to even recap two hours of this? Hello, another explosive. Uh, yeah. The game is. The game. Uh, the game is a bit short. It falls a bit short compared to No Lives Forever One in some places, like the enemy dialogue and just the chatter and such. But it is it is an upgrade in other areas, uh, like the Deus Ex Light stuff. I'm still a bit unsure about Kate's new voice actor. 
but yeah, there's still time for her to grow on us. Like Rakia's, like Rakia said, it is. Uh, uh, she ha she had a lot less. <clears throat> she has had a lot less dialogue so far. That so that is, yeah, kind of weakening against her character. Like by the time we hit three hours in the first game, we got a very very good feel of what sort of character Kate was from all the things he was saying and such. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Thank Access you. request. Da, da, da. A reason for request. Fourth quarter progress report for General Zukov on Project Omega. They required other priority one order from General Zukov, so ASAP. If other, you must provide uh, the names of three relatives in case request is denied and punitive executions are deemed necessary. Okay. Uh, yeah, the Soviet Union. I, I recently saw a video about the gulags, and yeah, whatever you think about the gulags, uh, or whatever you already thought about them, they are even worse than that. They basically were just Russian concentration camps. Yeah, I heard about that. That is horrible. Uh oh. Another angry kitty. Yep. Also, what is that eye towards? Is that a side thing? Uh. Okay, we've passed the five minutes, but let's at the least take a look at what that might be, or is it just point? It's just pointing towards the exit. It looks like. So let's head into the next area, and then we'll call the stream there. All right. And also, I feel like I. Weird that you only you were muted from the OBS. Yeah, it's it, not that it was muted, it had to change the freaking input uh, source, which I it shouldn't have. Yes, yeah, it see. recorded me just fine. Security cameras if a security camera spots you, an alarm will sound, bringing reinforcements to search the area. It will take the camera a moment to focus and identify you as a threat. So learn to back uh, to duck back out of sight the moment you hear the distinctive mechanical mechanical whine of the uh, lens turning. Because cameras are monitored remotely, destroying them will raise an alarm. But you can use special camera disabling ammunition for your CT-180 uh, and CT launcher to render them inoperative. Okay. Uh, we remember those, but now we launch them at the cameras. It looks like. Okay, we'll we'll find we'll learn that dialogue next time. But yeah, now I'm just really freaking frustrated about OBS just screwing us over. Yeah, understandable. Uh, yeah, we'll 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 call this the silent episode then. Huh? Also, I think we have a new follower apparently. Yep. Let me go back. Let's see, Mister Pockets. Okay, they must have followed us uh, some time off stream or something because I didn't hit a ping, and You're I didn't saying. see a Mister. Yeah, I didn't see a Mister Pockets join the chat. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's head back here. I probably should move that onto here as well. Actually, I need to do a lot of things still. Uh, but first and foremost, I need to swap this. I need to swap over the screen share to the browser because we're going to look for someone to raid. Wonderful, he is sharp at my axe. <laughs> okay, uh, but, uh, before we do that though, and it, it seems there aren't too many people streaming at the moment, it's certainly not people we know. Uh, but, uh, I've been holding off on changing the backgrounds here because apparently there's been a bit of uh, there's been quite some controversy about AI generated art, uh, but I have been asking around a bit, and apparently most of the controversy comes from it when people are claiming the generated art as their own. I I have no plans of doing that at any point, and yeah, I, I expect at one point sooner or later I will just have someone commission actual original artwork using the um, <clears throat> using the generated artwork as a base to work from. Not to completely copy it, but as a... Yeah, just a shape and positioning and such. 
So I hope by Monday or something that I'll have swapped out the background here on the main picture maybe. And uh, yeah, we'll see. I'll I'll just I'll just run a, a bunch more generations to see if, if we find something we like. <clears throat> oh dear. But for now, let's have a look. Uh, we yeah. have K9. Wait, 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 wait. You haven't shared it with me yet. I thought I spread. Let's see. Share your screen. Change windows. Did that? I I clicked the wrong thing. Oh, that in there mind. we go. There we go. Oh. Hello, uh, Valheim. Uh, just because it's the first one there doesn't mean it has the most viewers because it only has five hundred and four at the moment. I don't get what the real what the yeah deal is with this here. Uh, but yeah, let's see. We have K9 who is streaming Risk of Rain two. We have uh, WBPL seventy six who is streaming Final Fantasy four, and Horatio the Dwarf who is something I've uh, someone who I've been started following recently. They were streaming that uh, Dark and Darker game, which is basically uh, Tarkov, uh, Tarkov, but uh, fantasy. <clears throat> and let's see. Then we have another of K and I name, Karenai, who is streaming Tactics Ogre Reborn. I have heard of that game, but I've never seen anything of it. I, I think... Uh, Proton John or something did a stream of that at one point. Yeah, I also heard the name. Not I've seen videos. the name about, and I see some green shot of it, but nothing else really. And then we have this name again, which keeps making me trip over. Uh, Babella Bellum streaming Mountain Blades to Banner Lords. Beanie played that for a while. Then we have Derpy Do streaming Deep Rock Galactic. O6 Wall Street or O6 Wall ST or Walst, perhaps, is streaming World of Tanks. And oh, we have uh, Zerkovic uh, is streaming Vermintide again. Then we have Chronolus, who is streaming No Man's Sky. Oh, Black Magic nineteen eighty two is streaming Alice Madness Returns. That's on our to do list, definitely. Yeah, and I have to check for it. There, a third game is coming, if not already come, a game, yeah. some, some word. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they, I heard that they are still working on that slowly but surely. And last but not least of the ones we're seeing here is Sketchy Dentist who is streaming Valheim. I'm leaning but towards wait, wait. Derp I saw something there. I saw Viking Minecraft. <laughs> I'm not sure if you see that as an insult or a compliment. <laughs> uh, in some parts it's a bit accurate, but in a lot of others not. Uh, I'm I'm leaning towards the the one who's streaming Deep Rock Galactic because we were planning to do that. But you have the final say as always. I actually in agreement with you. Okay, let's double check. The site is muted. So let's head over to theirs, copy their name over. Yo, oh, that's a quite an avatar. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> then we go over here to our own place, slash raid, paste. But before we start that, as always, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, thank you, Sentai Tadpole, for showing up, chatting along a bit, and uh, yeah, pointing out that OBS was being a f was being a thing again. I'll leave it at that for now. Yeah, breathe in and out. And uh, yeah, thank you as always as well, Drakir. I you're welcome as always. I don't know how we're actually going. I don't want to redo all of that, but. Uh, yeah, let's just move on from where we were. Most, most the interest would for this would probably be for the game itself, anyways. So you and I are just window dressing. <laughs> what? Okay. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Let's see. We can. Well, I'll I'll try to stream again tonight. Hopefully, this time with the bloody microphone in the correct selection. 
I don't know why it disconnects like that sometimes. I, I'm going to add that to the to-do list before streams. Just check if OBS is actually bloody listening to the correct thing. But uh, yeah, if we can stream tonight as well, it'll be Shantae again. Which we've actually been busy with for quite a while now. Uh, longer than all the others. Yeah, do most due to that this Shantae has DLCs. Yeah. I... I'll need to double check if the last Shantae has DLCs, but I don't think so. Not to this amount, at least. I think they recently did get a DLC. Okay, I'll definitely need to check that. For now, though, let's start the raid. And, uh, yeah, I still need to fix this bloody model bit. It's there, that little bit on the shoulder here underneath my chin can, still clipping through the coat. I might just need to make it giant or something. Oh, uh, well, that's for my me to work on. But for now, thank you everyone again uh, for watching, now or later. And until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone. <laughs> but no, watch out for such and such Soviets <laughs> or something this time. <laughs> I, I, I run out of ammo for that one. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, laters, everyone. Laters.